Time Magazine once called Diane Ladd one of the top 10 actresses, not only in this country, but in the world. Now she's lending her talents to a heartwarming and inspirational new film, Gigi and Nate, that explores the bond between animals and humans in their most vulnerable time. Take a look. I was six weeks away from college. When I got paralyzed, I had nurses around the clock. And then one year ago, my life completely changed. I'd like to request a service animal for my son. All the way now. Uh, oh, man. Uh. Diane, this is such a heartfelt story of hope. Tell me a little bit about the film. Well, <clears throat> when I read the script, I, I got very excited. I happen to have known someone who went through something like this. And I thought, what an important, wonderful, like almost like it's a wonderful life type of film, fulfilling needs for humanity. All of us have friends who go through something like this. And so I was very excited. And the monkey is <laughs> the star of the movie. I said, Oh my God, at this age to be upstage by a monkey. <laughs> well, that, I definitely want to get to the monkey, but I, I do want to talk more a little bit about the inclusivity. Um, this is based on a true story. And, you know, it's, it's like you mentioned, it's portraying a person with a sudden disability, but I know it was important for the producers to be inclusive by casting disabled actors and even some service animals. So what was being on a set like that like for you? Uh, it was, I had a little difficulty. When you do uh, films with uh, animals, you have to be prepared for many, many takes and, and many um, accidents. You know, they're little animals and they give their all, but they're not quite sure what you're saying all the time. Did you get one of those monkey hugs from no, Ali? Honey, I did not get the monkey hug <laughs> because uh, I went in, I had the dog, you see, and the monkey kept eyeing the dog like, I'm gonna fix you good. And I had the dog and I thought, oh God, that, that monkey's gonna jump on th this dog and we're gonna have a free for all, the likes of which you've never seen. This monkey is helping Charlie in his needs for his a little bit of paradox. And oh, oh, it's a wonderful movie that will touch your heart. And I am so privileged and pleasure to have been part of it, the whole thing. Now, your daughter, Laura Dern, recently talked about how your granddaughter also has a passion for acting, which makes her the third generation in your family. How does that feel to keep this acting legacy going? It feels like the hand of God. When my daughter wanted to act when she was only 10 or 11, I said, no, no, be a doctor, be a lawyer, be a leper missionary, be anything. I said, as a woman, they judge you so hard. And she said, you know, mother, you encourage everybody to use their gifts. If I could play the piano right now, you wouldn't say, oh, don't play the piano. She said, if you let me do this now, when I'm young, I'll probably grow out of it. Just let me taste it a little. I'll grow out of it. Oh, yeah. I just want to know, is there, was there ever an animal in your life similar to Gigi that helped you through a hard time? Well, the dog that I had in a, did a TV series with my daughter called Enlightened. And we had a dog named uh, Ginger that was my dog. And the trainer said, Ginger's going deaf and we won't be able to use her in films anymore. So they said, we'll give her to you. So I, I've had a lot of pets, but Ginger, who is in Enlightened, she starred uh, in, in uh, children's movies. She entertained people. So she has that dog is up there somewhere in a dog heaven yeah. with real good karma, you know? Oh. You can catch Gigi and Nate in theaters now. Thanks, Diane.